In this video, I want to introduce you the Armored Reconnaissance Battalion, the eyes and ears of a Panzer Division. So in the 1930s, the German army developed some heavy long-range reconnaissance cars like the Sonderkraftfahrzeug or Special Motor Vehicle 231 and some light scout cars like the Sonderkraftfahrzeug 222, so the Special Motor Vehicle 222. These heavy and light scout cars form the core equipment of an armored reconnaissance battalion. Within each battalion, at the start of the war, they were formed into two armored car squadrons. Each squadron had one heavy and two light platoons. The heavy platoon comprised of six of the larger armored cars. At the direction of the divisional commander, these cars thrust like spears deep into the unknown territory ahead of the main body of the division. They sought to discover where in general the enemy was. They radioed back about obstacles, barricades, anti-tank guns and contact with the enemy. When contact was made, the commander released his two light platoons with their total of 12 of the smaller cars. They swarmed densely around where the bigger cars had seen the enemy. With a patter of little feelers, they located him at more points and so with greater precision. This information naturally grew in urgency as the clash of the main bodies neared. Supporting the cars were a motorcycle squadron, which arriving fast provided firepower in case of a skirmish developed and a heavy squadron. This comprised an artillery platoon to back up the motorcyclists and an engineer platoon to help the cars and guns cross streams and other obstacles. These elements played a large role in the battalion's other main duties, advancing to, sizing and holding important points and screening its division's movements from the enemy. A staff with a communications platoon and supply troops completed the battalion. This equipment, this organization and some names changed during the war. In the preparation for the Russian campaign, the army expanded from 10 Panzer divisions in May of 1940 to 21 a year later. Tanks had priority in production and the output of armored cars fell behind. Consequently, for many of the new Panzer divisions, the reconnaissance battalion had instead of two scout car squadrons, only one and a platoon. During 1943, however, Hitler and Guderian reorganized the Panzer leadership in the hope of going once again onto the offensive. They raised the number of scout car companies to the original two or even three per battalion, and they converted the motorcyclists who had constantly gotten stuck in Russia into infantry riding in armored personal carriers. All battalions were not, however, identically organized or equipped. In particular, the late arriving SD KFZ, so Sonderkraftfahrzeug 234, so Special Motor Vehicle 234, and Sonderkraftfahrzeug 250 per 9 were distributed where most needed and so unequally. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.